Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use OpenCV JavaScript for face recognition. Uh, we are going to use the laptop's uh, built-in webcam and you can download the project files from uh, my github page and I am going to explain the program. I have the link for my github page in the description you can check out. Uh, first of all we are going to see what is the result result is going to be. So now I am going to start a simple uh, web server using python. Now let's check. Now as you can see uh, in the left side it is capturing the video in real time and in the right side it is uh, showing the detected face here so uh, the reason why the reason we have two uh, separate uh, display here is because one is being used as uh, the input the left one is the video that we are getting from the web camera and the one in the right is the canvas output that is displaying the uh, bounding rectangle. I am going to explain it uh, shortly. So uh, let's go to the code. It's just a HTML file with some JavaScript. Now, as you can see, we are using uh, OpenCV.js, which you can download from uh, docs.opencv.org. I have a separate video for uh, getting the JavaScript file from OpenCV website, and I'll provide the link for it here. The first thing is we are going to get the video input from the from the web camera so we are using the video tag of html5 uh, and we are setting its height and width here so the id is cam input uh, this can be anything you can use any name here and we are going to display the output and that one is canvas output and the, the html document contains only these two elements here is the JavaScript code. Uh, the function OpenCV ready will be executed once the OpenCV JS is uh, loaded. The onload function is OpenCV ready. So once the uh, OpenCV.js script uh, JavaScript is loaded, uh, it will start to execute this function. So the cv.on runtime initialized is for uh, running the program only after the uh, javascript file is completely initialized cv on runtime initialized this one is to uh, make sure everything runs after the open cv runtime is initialized so whatever we are going to do should be inside these parentheses so document dot get element by id this one is uh, the same as the video id and uh, this one is the uh, this one is boilerplate code for getting uh, your video stream from your web camera for in JavaScript. And this one is to log the error. Here we are initializing the variables that we we are going to need. And the source is a uh, OpenCV matrix of height. Uh, the same as video's height and video's width and its data type is going to be uh, cv aqc for this uh, it is a three dimensional color image so we are going we are using this aqc for and the destination is going to be just uh, a grayscale image so we are we are using 8uc1 because it is a just a 
2D array. The DST or destination is the is a grayscale image. So we are using AQC1 as its data type just to uh, reduce the amount of memory it's going to use. So we are initializing an empty mat empty matrix uh, for storing the gray image and this one is for getting the camera input from um, your video stream. This one is same as the camera input ID and we are initializing a faces vector that is a rectangular vector that is getting your uh, face bounding box the faces are initialized to store the uh, face data and we are initializing the cascade classifier this variable is initialized to uh, store your or cascade XML file. OpenCV utils is a supplementary JavaScript file that we are adding and it is going to and we are going to use utils.js for loading the uh, XML file and utilizing it for face recognition. So we need to use this utils uh, function to get the hard cascade um, XML file and load it into your classifier. So these four lines are used to load this hard cascade file to the JavaScript program and to utilize it for face recognition. Here we are setting the maximum frames per second to reduce the uh, system utilization and this is the function where everything happens and up to this this is the function uh, that is doing all the work and we are initializing the function we are starting this uh, function using this set timeout this is the function that is holding everything together so this this is where everything happens from detecting the face and displaying it and uh, limiting the maximum frames per second and everything is happening inside this code block this block so we are initializing we are starting that uh, block using this set timeout function and cap dot read is to is uh, similar to video capture uh, reading from the video capture uh, object so it will read from the uh, video object and store it in this mat source matrix and we are converting the color source to uh, gray image because the hard cascade method works only with uh, gray images so we are converting the source to gray image and we are trying to detect uh, any faces in the gray image and storing it in the faces vector the faces vector and these are the default parameters provided in OpenCV documentation website and if it finds any faces we are going to log the number of faces it finds just for uh, debugging purpose if you don't don't want uh, to see number of faces then you can simply comment this line so if there is any error it will catch the error and uh, log it in the console and then we are getting uh, we are going to display the image display the faces that is detected by this uh, function here this is the loop that we are going to run for all the faces that is detected by this function so it will start from uh, the index 0 and go all the way up to the maximum number of uh, the total number of faces in the uh, detected item faces this is same 
as you can see the faces is detected using this detect multi scale function of OpenCV and this single face first face is the uh, first element from this uh, faces array we are getting two points to plot the image uh, we are getting two points to plot the bounding rectangle on uh, the detected face or faces so it will put a bounding rectangle these two points are used to put a bounding rectangle on the face we are going to display the bounding rectangle on the image we are getting so we are using the source and we are providing these two points to draw rectangle and we can change its color if you, if we want 255 is uh, for complete red color so cv.im show is to display the uh, matrix that we are generating here this source matrix will be displayed in the output canvas that we have created here this output canvas this date dot now function is to uh, calculate the time taken for uh, time taken for doing all these functions doing all these uh, tasks all these instructions and we are uh, calculating the delay for each frame we are calculating delay for the each frame using this uh, this simple calculation here and we are putting that uh, delay to the next timeout for, for the same function so the function will uh, will be executed recursively because we are uh, calling this function uh, in from inside the same function so it will be recursively uh, executed forever uh, at least until you close the window let me show you how to uh, start a simple server using python python minus m that is to call the module http.server it is for python 3 oh we are already running a python server here for the same uh, directory so it is not uh, creating the Uh, let me show you how to uh, create a simple HTTP server using Python. If you are using uh, Python 3, you can Python yes, HTTP.server to start a simple server on your local host. You can go to your browser and uh, go to local host and to your port 8000 as you can see it is executing our face recognition program uh, thanks for watching and if you have any doubt please uh, let me know in the comment box here and check out my other videos